Hockey Night Hangout, presented by Chevrolet. 18 years of professional, six-time Stanley Cup champion, four with the Islanders, two in Pittsburgh. Thanks, guys! Thank you, one and all, boys! Brian James Trottier, production personified. Trotz holds the league record for points in a single period with six, and one of only eight NHL players to record multiple five-goal games. Trottier shots, Hamlin, Hockey Night Hangout from Hockey Day in Canada in Lloyd Minster. Chevrolet, find new roads. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hockey Night Hangout. This is the show where we take your questions and ask them to our special guests. Well, how do you get your questions in? Plenty of ways. Tweet me, Andy P H N I C, or at Hockey Night. You can also get a hold of us on Facebook, facebook.com slash hockey night. And our special guest today is Brian Trottier. This guy's in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Welcome. You were Rookie of the Year. You won the Art Ross. You won the Hart. I mean, you have four Stanley Cups with the Islanders, two with Pittsburgh, one as an assistant coach with Colorado. I'm getting breathless here. If I need an agent, I'm calling you. I know. I'm you said that so time. well. Well, because you give such a, an impressive resume for me to talk about. But let's let's talk about this for right now. We're um, we're here in Lloyd Minster, Alberta. Yes. We'll be visiting Saskatchewan as well for Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada. What gets you excited about these kinds of visits? I think the hockey atmosphere, the fact that we're in uh, Saskatchewan's backyard, which mm -hmm. is kind of the Alberta side right now, but I'm from Saskatchewan, so this is really kind of coming home for me. So I think there's a lot going on. Uh, we're hockey roots. Uh, mm -hmm. I know everyone's excited about this. I was fortunate enough to go to PEI for Hockey Day in Canada. It was just a great atmosphere, mm -hmm. and everybody gets energized. Um, even us so-called celebrities. We come to town and we get just fired up for all this. So it's really, really good for all of you us. You are a celebrity. Uh, so-called, yeah. Everyone knows you as the hockey celebrity, but apparently you also play the guitar. That is fun. Like our family band growing up, I, I started on a bass guitar. Mm -hmm. And when I turned 40, I said, I have to teach myself how to play rhythm because it's hard to play bass guitar around a campfire. <laughs> so I kind of taught myself, not self-taught, but dad was yeah. a wonderful teacher. And uh, through the family, we all get together, do gigs, and my sister still has a family band uh, down in uh, Valmarie area. And it's really fun to get together. Her kids are wonderful musicians. I almost mm -hmm. had them up here in Lloyd Minster this year, but we'll get, them, we'll get them on TV here one of these years. We'll be playing this weekend. We're looking forward to that. Thank you. So let's get to uh, some of the fans. They have the questions for you. Uh, Mickey Miner, do you enjoy today's style of hockey compared to your era? Well, I do. I do enjoy today's style of hockey. The players are so fast. The game is so fast. And mm -hmm. We actually went down and sat right next to the boards, and the players are so big and so fast. The hitting is amazing. I don't know how these guys get up from some of those hits, but our era was wonderful. It was a great time for us. We really enjoyed it. But the players are such great athletes now. Their agility, the speed of the game, the, the skill level, the goaltenders. I mean, the it is really quick out there, and God bless them. Mm -hmm. Don Paz. Uh, so early in his career, well, he's, I guess he's speaking about you in the third person, but early in your career, did it ever dawn on you that your team, the Islanders, had the making of a dynasty, four cups in a row? We were hopeful. We didn't know it. We won our first cup. We won our second cup. And then we thought, we're on, we're on a roll here. And we wanted to ride that wave as much as possible. We were young enough. Uh, we were healthy enough. We had a really good, strong nucleus. Our goaltending was really strong. Everybody felt really good about themselves. As long as we maintained kind of a healthy um, physical presence, I think everybody stayed healthy through those four years. Mm -hmm. And we felt if we kind of we can do something fun here, and then we won the third one, and we just squeaked by those creepy Oilers there in, in '83, <laughs> and those dogs beat us in '84. We were, I had fun, but you know what? It was their time, and God bless them. They're great champions. But it was really a fun time because. We didn't take anything for granted. We really had to earn it and work for it, and uh, everybody really appreciated it. it it's so hard because every time I ask somebody who has been a champion what made that dressing room special, it, it seems like it's hard to put a finger on it, but can you kind of put into words what made you guys special? Well, it starts, uh, starts at the top from uh, management, coaches. Mm -hmm. I think they set the tone, mm -hmm. and we're a good reflection of those guys. Uh, Bill Torrey, Al Arbor were just wonderful mentors. And uh, they had a plan. Uh, Al Arbor had a system. He allowed us to be creative out there within the system. I think the players recognize that. There's great respect both ways. I think mm -hmm. Al would like, uh, you know, rein us in every once in a while, but he'd kind of let us loose till we choked ourselves, he'd say. But it was really kind of a neat group of guys, and you need that nucleus in order to have some fun. But 
If they brought somebody new in, they brought in something that was special to the team and uh, the chemistry stayed pretty strong. Al Arbor loved you. He said you were actually probably the more complete player when comparing you to Wayne Gretzky. Well, it was a wonderful compliment. You know, I think he was put in the spot there. And I think when you're, when you're pressured, we just won a couple of cups. Someone said, well, who would you rather have? Yeah, I think he was pressured a little bit. But, I, you know, we love Al and we'll always love Al. But, um, you know, Wayne is one of those special guys. That it's, it's hard. We're apples and oranges. You know, I've, I've mm -hmm. talked to Wayne and Wayne's talked to me. But we've had great conversations. And, you know, he's a different kind of hockey player and a special kind of hockey player. And, you know, I, I didn't play his style. And, uh, you know, I don't think he played mine. I had some great battles with uh, Mark Messier. We kind of went nose to nose <laughs> and whacked to whack a few games against the Oilers. And that was, that was a fun battle. Yeah. So here's one from Facebook, Mike Milner. What's your best memory as a player? It may be something that we would not have known would have been your best memory. God, that's a tough one. There's mm. so, so many. Um, there's some special times that I think that you have um, that is, is a special goal. Mm -hmm. I think the um, there's a, a five-second goal that's pretty special in Boston. I think you can YouTube it now. Um, kind of a fluky thing, but at the same time, kind of like... We almost, we almost called it at the face-off dot. I kind of looked at the guys and I said, we're going forward on this face-off. And the puck just kept bouncing over sticks and through legs and bingo, bango. And then, um, I think it was uh, Keynes was the goaltender and kind of did a knuckleball dive on him five seconds into the game. The really cool thing was not that it was five seconds. It was that as I rounded the net and kind of looked up at the clock, it said 19.55. I said, oh, that's kind of quick. But I looked over in the corner. My eyes kind of met this dad who was kind of putting his son down had a popcorn and a Coke and Boston Bruins jerseys on. He had this expression on his face, are you kidding me? <laughs> I haven't sat down yet, we're down one nothing. That was, that was the cool thing about that, that really made it kind of fun for me. Priceless. All right, well now we're gonna head on over to Skype because we have a question from a fan there. Hi, I'm Kaylee from Toronto and my question for Brian is, which do you get to show off more often, your Stanley Cup rings or your Hall of Fame blazer? Pretty interesting question. Would you like to show off more, Stanley Cup rings or your Hockey Hall of Fame blazer? Well, unfortunately, the, the, Hall of Fame bla the Hall of Fame blazer doesn't come out as often. I wear a Stanley Cup ring all the time. I live in Pittsburgh, so I always have the, Stan I the Pittsburgh Penguins Stanley Cup ring. You don't miss it. And um, I think it's very important because I think the fact that I'm, I'm, it's my home, I live there, it's mm -hmm. really good to wear that ring. And uh, so I see it, the kids see it all the time, the fans see it all the time. I get a chance to kind of not show it off, but mm -hmm. just to kind of, I guess, brag more or less. But it's really kind of a neat thing, and it's a wonderful memento of a great team that we had in Pittsburgh. Uh, the Hall of Fame Blazer only comes out like once a year at the Hall of Fame. So like that, that doesn't get seen as much, but it's really the wonderful, it's the highest honor you can have, the Hall of Fame. There's nothing higher than yeah. that when somebody comes along. I mean, you can aspire to be a Stanley Cup champion. You can dream about winning, uh, scoring a hat trick or playing in the NHL, but you don't dream of, dare dream about, you know, mm -hmm. making the Hall of Fame. So that's really the highest honor there is. Or having the most points in a period, or getting in in the Hall of Fame in your first year of eligibility. My agent. My agent. I'm just saying, this guy's got a lot on his resume. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You, Absolute Andy. pleasure. pleasure. Thank you. Having you on Hockey Hangout. We're going to enjoy Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time. Chevrolet, find new roads.